Hello everyone, it is Malachi with Cosplay Powers. I know it's crazy, I know it's insane, but yeah, we're gonna do this all using the Wordle app on our iPhone. We're gonna use Halloween 3 with this effect. I'm changing the hue so that way it's uh, blue color. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Force FX3 and use this little bubble effect just to add a little bit of a glow to this. Next thing we're gonna do we're gonna use some uh, am like some amber type things, like uh, like sparks kind of thing through the from the force FX. And if we're if I'm going too fast, which I'm quite sure I am going pretty fast, uh, you can always pause this video to see what I'm doing. You can slow it down. I'm just moving these icons around too to make it more comfortable when I'm some of the effects that I use the most. I'm always going to move it up at the top. So I'm going to use Force FX2 because I want to make it like someone is shooting at Magneto. So basically, I'm using these uh, these sparks from the Force FX2 so that way the shots are ricocheting off the shield. Now I'm going to add this lens flare on the on the top right hand corner and I'm going to change the hue a little bit. And that's just going to bring more like shine from coming from outside that sunlight. It's going to bring more life into this. So now we're going to add the metal. And guess what? I'm using confetti. So I'm going to speed up the confetti, make it look like metal shards are just flying around this guy. And then I'm going to play around with the blur so we can get some depth of field. So you got some pieces closer to the camera. You got pieces further away. And of course, we got to have some pieces from behind him. So we got to mask out the other pieces of metal aka confetti flying around so that's how we give that effect like the metal is moving in a circular motion around him and just to mix up things i'm just going to add these circular pieces as well so it doesn't look like just a bunch of rectangle pieces of metal flying around and then last but not least i'm going to start moving him a bit so i'm going to move his hands to make it look like he's moving his hands. I don't want to really distort the background. As you can see, I'm distorting the fence. And I don't want that. If you want to avoid distorting like the fence or the background or whatever, um, a good idea is to pull this image into Photoshop and then take the character out himself and then put it back into Wurble. That way you can move his hands and it won't affect the background. Something else I like to do is add the bulge effect to the effects themselves. So that's what you, that's what I'm basically doing right there. I'm giving that magnetic energy some some movement basically. And of course we want to have the whole camera moving too because this is like chaos. It's like the camera wouldn't be this still. You have pieces of metal flying around and you know gunshots getting shot at the at the magnetic shield. So there's a lot of stuff happening, but. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it. That's how you do it. I really appreciate everyone watching this. If you want to check out my other videos, links in the description or at the end of this video, you can check out some other tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with other people that's trying to take their cosplay to the next level. And also make sure to hit me up if you have any questions about doing edits. I check my DMs on Instagram all the time and I'll be happy to answer any questions. All right, take care, guys.